Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany, thanks for joining me on whatever day that you're joining me on. Very much appreciate you coming through. There's so many videos on YouTube about being hired at a fang company, and I think it's great and wonderful, but how do you get hired at a normal company? Let's be very clear from the get-go, I am not opposed to working at a fang company. Um, it's just, just not something I'm striving for at this time um, in my career, but it is something that I would consider in the future. So, just so we're on the same page about that. So we're gonna go through and talk about some of the things that you need to know, like the obvious things, as well as some of the things I've seen personally as I've been interviewing at non-FANG companies. So, let's get into it, shall we? Do it. Number one, you gotta apply. I told you, we're going, we're going step by step. Okay, we're, we're going through the basics. Apply, follow up with the hiring manager or somebody in HR, and I have a video on how, like an email template that you could use in order to do that, so it will be linked above as well as below, so check that out. And then interview, let's, let's get into this part. So here are just some things, a handful of things that I've noticed as I've been interviewed, and in no particular order, but Focus on basic algorithms and data structures. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, but wait a minute. I don't want to get hired in no fan company. I said basics. And I'm talking about arrays, for loops, those know how to do those things. In terms of just like basic algorithms, know how to use loops, know how to use for loops, know how to go back and make your code look better, know how to efficiently loop through information, that sort of thing. So um, a lot of times these interviews, they'll have you do some basic algorithms. You know, I'll insert a few um, below um, that you can check out that I've seen which would be kind of something, okay, this is not a non, this is a non-fang company, this is what they're asking you to do. But really just communicate, that's what it boils down to. It's gonna be like a basic thing of like inserting something or removing something or finding something. So know how to do those basics in all the data structures um, that you're working with. So strings and um, when you talk about arrays, especially arrays, um, and then looked at linked lists and then know something about trees, that sort of thing. I say that because I have had an interview where I had to talk over how I would get something from a tree and return the value and accumulate multiple values within the tree and how to return those things and how to figure out which one is closest to this and that sort of thing. So I didn't have to code it at all, but I did have to talk through it. So that's the importance of it. I, and for spoiler alert, I did not know the right answer. Like I didn't know how I was gonna go about doing this before I started. Um, and I, I had very limited knowledge on trees. So if I can get through that and you know come out on top, I know that you guys can, can definitely figure that out. So for sure, go through and um, learn the basics of all those data structures and like how to manipulate um, information through it and just like getting information retrieving um, and that sort of thing so that's what I recommend to you and I know you're probably like this is the same as everybody else is saying no it's not okay the difference becomes when you're literally um, solving things a lot of people they won't ask you about time space complexity in these non fang companies they might ask if you know about it that doesn't mean you don't study it like i'm not saying don't study it i'm just saying go in with the expectation of you know you know how to say yes i know it this is what i know about it but you may not know how to efficiently explain it like over uh, o of n and all log in and all those things you may not know that but at least you could say that you've heard of it and you know you may not know the complexity of this one, but you could talk about it and that you know that sort of thing. The second thing is you need to talk about your past work experience. I have found that with a lot of non-FANG companies, they really want to dig into your work experience and they want to know how you've worked in teams in the past, what did you work on, how did you solve problems, what impact did you make, how do you learn 
what did you learn from the things that you've done? If you could answer those questions about your past work experience and your past um, you know, projects that you've worked on, you're in solid shape. So, but really, really focus on, on those and like really get comfortable explaining that because they're going to ask, it's going to happen. Um, and then know and understand terminology in regards to a specific coding language that you're, that you're using. So if it's a coding language, if it's a framework as well, make sure that you're able to answer like the basic questions of those. Okay. So for me, I would be looking up like interview questions for like Laravel or PHP. It kind of just depends. Definitely check out Glassdoor and um, see what past interviewers, what past people that have interviewed, what questions they've come across and definitely utilize that in your search if you can. If not, definitely go online and look up some like uh, interview questions for a specific language. That's also a good idea. Um, but a lot of times if you're interviewing for something and they mention like one of the things on the, the list that they want you to know is object oriented programming. So for whatever language. So I would definitely look up object oriented programming and figure out like what kind of questions they could potentially ask there. So that's just a, an, an idea to kind of get your, you know, to get you moving, but for sure, no terminology. It's very important. Um, and then the final thing is know how to create projects and talk about how and why you did certain things in a project. Um, so for example, if you like, for me, sometimes it's like you have to create a database or something. So why did you create a database this way? Um, why didn't you go down a different path or why was this the better option? And just kind of talking through those things is very important. So it really just depends on the person that's interviewing you to be honest. But if you know, the basics of like those things and you could answer those questions it will make you feel more comfortable in the interview because you're able to talk about more things and feel confident in what you're saying as well so definitely keep all these things in mind so here it is these this is it y'all i mean it's very bare bones basic information and i could definitely expound upon any of these if you have any additional questions leave them down below um and i'll for sure i don't mind expanding on anything else if you need it. But for sure, this is it. Just know what you know and do some research and figure out what the company is looking for on the interview side. And I think you'll be set. So that's all I've got for you. I really hope this was helpful for y'all. Give it a like, give it a like if it was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out y'all. Bye.